Hey guys, Sam here. So this is my official video for the Windows version of the iMessage activation for Win Mobile in Canada. And uh, so this is iMessage and FaceTime activation so that you can use your phone number instead of your email address, which is what Win sets you up as. So I already have a Mac video that's um, that, that was done on the Mac um, available. The link will be in the description and also added here uh, on, uh, on the video as well. You could click it on the top right corner and to see the Mac if you have a Mac. But this is the Windows version because of high demand. I've had a lot of people asking questions on how to do this on a Windows computer. And I understand on Windows it's a little bit harder to get to the log files and things like that. So to start up um, right here, as you can see, this is Windows running on a Mac, by the way, so don't get confused. It's exactly the same thing. It's just I'm running Windows on a Mac rather than running Windows um, by itself on the Mac or on a Windows computer. So the experience at the end of the day is gonna be the exact same, what you're gonna do there or what you're gonna do here, or what you're gonna see me do here, sorry. So to start up, we gotta locate the folder first. So first things first you wanna do is set up, okay? You wanna get set up so that when you're performing the steps, you're not running around wasting time looking for things. So I have the iPhone connected, this is an iPhone 5S, running on Win Mobile right here, as you can see. We have everything set up here, so the I have the iTunes open, I'm ready to sync, everything's good to go. Next thing you want to do is you want to go over to the, so this is this will say C drive or Windows or whatever, your main drive that will have a Windows logo on it. Look for that, click on it, go to users. Then for this one, so this is my username on this computer right here. So we click on that. And now when we get to here, you're not going to see the other folder that you need to see. This is the tricky part about Windows. So what we're going to do is we're going to be smart about it. So we're going to copy right here. So backward slash all the way till down here because obviously your username is going to be different that's why in brackets it says right here your underscore user underscore name because every person has a different username set up on their computer so we cannot just copy the paste the entire thing and get to the destination also everybody's device name is going to be different because everybody goes under setting general and put something there because it's going to be different we all can't have the same device name either so we're not going to copy that either we're only going to copy this part to right here so then we're going to paste this part. Make sure that when, so as you saw, when I click here, it gets highlighted. Now, if I go ahead and paste, look what happens. You see what happens? We're not going to be able to go to the destination. So what you need to do is, so I'm just going to go right back. So when you click here, you need to make sure you click and then paste because we need this file path to be there. You click submit. The reason it's not showing up is now, this time it didn't show up is because I have never synced this phone to this computer before. So let's click on sync. Once the sync is completed, as you can see, we're at step two of three. So once the sync is completed, we are going to be able to go to this destination right here. There we go. Now you guys see that. You see this? So this will sometimes will say your name, your device name, whatever, like XYZ's iPhone. But for now, because I've changed the name just to say iPhone, it just says iPhone right here. So when I click on it, it has all these logs and things like that. Um, so everything's here. It's good. So what we're gonna do is start the process. So I'm gonna record from another device because I'm not able to do uh, screen recording on this. It's not as easy as doing these things on um, on Windows as it is on Mac. So if you're doing it on Mac, I recommend highly recommend that you do this on a Mac. It's just a lot easier if you have a Mac computer available. Again, it's just a lot easier to do it on that. So first things first, we're going to do is we're going to enable logging. Okay, to start up, you need to make sure under phone, if you go to settings and you go to phone, make sure it says. Uh, your phone number with a plus sign. So I have the link here as well on the bottom right here. You could click on it just to go through a few steps I have mentioned before you start the process so that you know what you're doing and just so that everything is in place already. So first things first we're going to do is enable logging. Go ahead and uh, enable logging and I'm um, enabling FaceTime. 
Um, you could use FaceTime or messages, uh, sorry, iMessage, whichever one you wanna use, that's up to you. They both should be able to lead you to success. Um, I've had success with both of them now. I've been doing it with FaceTime or iMessage, uh, depending on whichever one, depending on how many number of attempts I'm trying to do. But usually if you don't get it within the first couple of attempts, you're better off just waiting 24 hours and trying again. And uh, that's really about it, so. Let's see if we got the hexed. Okay, we got hex right there. You guys can see it. Um, let's go here, word wrap. So word wrap helps because rather than having to scroll sideways, you only have to scroll down. On Windows, this looks very messy. On Mac, it's a lot better, in my opinion. It's, it's actually it really, really a lot better. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy from starting with 440 all the way down till this period, just before the period, okay? You don't wanna include the period, you can't because it will not accept it. Next thing you wanna do is go to activation, then you wanna go and paste it. So for the privacy of this uh, iPhone owner, I am not going to submit the log on video, but I will show you um, that it works. So I'm gonna stop the video on the screen recording. Okay, so it has activated, as I will show you. There it is, check mark next to the 416 number. Now I'm gonna quickly go over to messages and turn messages on. And what this will do is basically enable messages as well. So it's waiting for activation, give it a few seconds. It should show up if everything worked well. Uh, timing is everything, oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of this. So as you can see, showing the 416 number. And again, the 416 number has a check mark in it under send and receive. So there you guys have it. The iMessage has been activated on this phone right here running on WinMobile. This is on Windows, done on Windows and um, so that's about it guys. Thanks for watching the video. I'm going to basically close it off right here. Uh, the, there's a link in the, again, in the top uh, left corner. So your, or your right corner. Uh, it's gonna be for the Mac version if you're doing this on a Mac. And uh, also there's a link on the bottom of this video, uh, not in the video description, but at the bottom of the video right here on the bottom of the screen that you'll see. Um, it will be for the, just a some tips, about 10 points that I think that everybody should go over before they perform the iMessage activation. And um, that's about it guys. So again, to get to the, get to uh, the, the baseband folder on Windows, you need to do it like this. So you copy and paste this section right here. So backwards slash from app data and onwards. The next thing you wanna go to do is your, my computer. So in my case it has bootcamp, but yours will say Windows OS or C drive or whatever. Anyways, the main one that has a Windows logo on it. You want to go to the users, click on the username that you're signed into on the computer again, and then click and then copy and paste. So the thing you want to make sure that the key is when you click on users and you click here, as you see, it's highlighted. You see that it's highlighted. So if I just go ahead and paste, it replaces that and you'll never find the destination folder. So I'm just going to quickly go back. So you click on the username, you click here, and you just want to make sure that you click next to it, copy and paste. And then you'll see a name for your iPhone that whatever iPhone that you're using, you'll see it right here. If you have a bunch of these where it says iPhone, that means that you under settings, general, and then about, you haven't set up any name in there yet, just says iPhone. So you might see iPhone 2D, blah, 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 something like along these lines, whole bunch of them, depending on how many devices you sync with that computer that you're using. So in order to know which one is the latest, obviously you wanna look at the date and the time frame. then this way you know that this is the computer that you, or the, the device that you're working with. 
Um, if you still find it confusing, I would always recommend that you delete everything here and then restart the syncing process so you know that there's only one folder that you're looking for and one device that you're looking for. And this way, it just kind of makes things easier. And obviously, you want to, again, launch this uh, before you start doing the process just so that it's easier and the last tip once again We already showed it to you. You do want to do word wrap The reason you want to do word wrap is because so this way as you can see right here without word wrap We're scrolling for miles from left to right You see that that makes it even harder on Mac It's very beautifully organized, but on Windows it just looks like a truck wreck as you can see right here so the best thing you want to do is just to at least do word wrap to make things easier and you want to copy it from the hex string which is long set of numbers or characters, digits, whatever you want to call it um, from 440 to the period. You do not want to include the period just before the period you copy and paste it and then as soon as your FaceTime or iMessage, whichever one you're doing starting with is activated, you run over to the other one or click over to the other one and activate that one by clicking the on switch. Um, after you've done that, you have the option of, um, you know, turning on the, after that you're done, you have the option of turning on, um, sorry, adding an email address if you like. If not, then just leave it. Uh, you can just definitely use the phone number. I would recommend using the phone number for at least a week or two, just so all your contacts can start sending messages to your phone number rather than your email address all the time. Uh, so this way they can start a new conversation rather than continue to reply to the one with the email address. So that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was helpful. Um, so I had to make this video because of high demand for a Windows version as everybody's always complaining about not being able to find it. Um, it was just a matter of time that I got a device to use because I don't have another device of my own as mine's already been done. So I need it and plus I need to do it so that I can borrow the device and spend enough time to do it on a Windows computer. So there you guys have it. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, do leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to get you the answer or maybe somebody else can input their, their um, experience. And uh, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, and before I go, sorry, sorry. One more thing. If you guys uh, are not able to do it, I'm more than happy to help. I charge a small fee and uh, only condition is you have to meet me in Woodbridge. So either uh, Langstaff and Western Road or Highway 7 and 27. Uh, there's a Tim Hortons on each of those locations, so I'm more than happy to meet there in the evenings so that I can um, do this for you. Uh, my number is 647-490-1858, so that's 647-490-1858. Thanks.